This is a short video on empirical molecular formulas and getting the empirical formula from percent composition. So I've been giving you the formula. You've been trying to get the percent composition. Now I'm going to give you the percent composition. You tell me the formula, like H2O, H2O2, whatever it is. Um, for my students who are watching this, this is number 23 out of your notes. First thing, difference between empirical and molecular formula. Empirical is the most reduced ratio of the elements. It's not the real formula. Molecular is the actual formula. So for example, glucose has that molecular formula. That is the real formula of glucose. There's six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens. The empirical formula of glucose would be its most reduced one. So these are in a one to two to one ratio. C H2O. So there might be a whole group of compounds that have this ratio, but each one has a different molecular formula. Um, for example, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Its most reduced ratio is just H, oh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Even though there's no compound that has this actual formula, that is the most reduced ratio of that. When you do lab stuff, a lot of times you find the empirical one. Now water, the real formula for water is H2O. That is also the empirical formula. That's the most reduced ratio. It's a two-to-one ratio in terms of atoms. <clears throat> So now I'm going to give you some percent, some percent values, and you've got to figure out the formula. So for example, we know this compound is 24.7% potassium, this percent manganese, this percent oxygen. We want to know what the formula is. Like is the formula K2MN3O5? That is not the right formula, but we're trying to figure out what the formula would be based on these percents. So remember. The numbers in here are number of atoms or moles of atoms. So for every two moles of potassium, there's three moles of manganese, five moles of oxygen. But these are not grams. It's not two grams to three grams to five grams. Okay, because every element's got a different mass in terms of their moles. So what we're going to do is pretend like we have a 100 gram sample of this compound. Or we pretend like we have a 1,000 gram sample or a 20 gram sample or a 30 gram sample. But 100 is easy. So if you have 100 grams of this compound, that means that 24.7 of those grams are potassium, 34.76 grams are manganese, and this many grams are oxygen. They would always be in that ratio in terms of grams. So I'm just going to change those into grams and say, okay, we have that many grams, that many grams, and that many grams of oxygen. What we need to do next is turn those into moles. So I'm going to say, figure out how many grams of potassium there are, per mole of potassium. <clears throat> and as we do that, it's going to be 39 grams of potassium per mole. Uh, I apologize, I don't have these answers, so we're going to take 24.7 divided by 39.6. So we have that many moles of potassium. Do the same thing for manganese. Uh, manganese is 54.9 grams per mole of manganese. So get that into moles. 34.76 divided by is also 0.633 moles of manganese. So I know that these are going to be in the same ratio in my compound. If there's one of that, there's going to be one of that. If there's two of those, there's going to be two of those. They're going to be in the same, same ratio. Oxygen is 16 grams per mole, so we're going to say 16 grams is a mole of oxygen. So 40.5 divided by 16 is 2.53 moles of oxygen. We now need to write our formula based on these ratios. Well, I can't write this. I can't write K, 0.63, MN, 0.63, O, 2.53. They need to be whole number ratios. This is the ratio they are in. We just need to figure out whole numbers. So the easiest way is to divide all of them by the smallest. So divide this one by 0.633. Divide this one by 0.633. So we're just trying to figure out what the ratio is of one to the other. When we do that, this becomes a 1. 
this is a 1, and 2.53 divided by that is a 4. So it's a 1 to 1 to 4 ratio. So our formula would be K1, in other words, for every one atom of potassium, there's one atom of manganese, or one mole manganese, and there's four moles oxygen. So KMNO4 is our formula. That is the empirical. It might also be the molecular. We don't know that quite yet. So turn your percents into grams. Pretend like it's a 100 gram sample. Take those grams, turn them each into moles, divide them all by the smallest number of moles to get the ratio.